Channing Tatum knows how to shake it off. The Magic Mike star adorably danced with his 10-year-old daughter Evelyn at the Taylor Swift concert on Saturday night. The pair rocked out together during the show as Channing dressed up for the occasion, wearing a It's Me, Hi, I'm the Daddy, It's Me shirt in reference to the songstress's hit Antihero and heart-shaped crystals around his eye as a tribute to her album Lover. Gail King shared the series of photos and videos from the evening on her Instagram, including a sweet snap of Karamo Brown, who also dressed on theme with a lavender-colored tutu. Alicia Keys even posed for a selfie with the CBS Mornings anchor at the star-studded show. Sarah Michelle Gellar attended the same night with her daughter Charlotte and danced alongside her Buffy the Vampire Slayer co-star Seth Green as Sofia Vergara made the night a GNO with her friends. Taylor is set to play six concerts in LA as she closes out her record-breaking era's tour. The first night brought out a slew of celebs too, including Sarah Paulson, Brie Larson, Nick and Vanessa Lachey, Ashley Tisdale, Allison Holker, Jenny Garth, and Channing Tatum's ex-wife, Jenna Dewan. Access Hollywood's Scott Evans spoke to the style singer back in November 2021 at the premiere of her short film, All Too Well, and she explained why she loves going the extra mile for her fans. You woke up and chose violence today with this suit. I see you, lady. I see you. Come on now. You, I mean, you have to uh, listen. Violent velvet. Right? Violence. But then when you hear the fans singing the song. It's really got my heart expanding. Right? It's insane. I love them so much and this that's what all this is about. Like I'm just so glad they're having fun cuz yeah. I just want them to have fun this week. Yes. Cuz they filled my life with a lot of fun. List joy and everything. Tell me singing these songs this time around, right? You I I've, I've heard you say that you cried through a lot of the press the first time you were promoting Red. Right? Like it was tough. Yeah. <laughs> and now, right? And now, I wonder when you were back in the studio singing the songs this time, did you have that same feeling or were you kind of in a different headspace? I think recording it, uh, really it was going back and trying to create as authentic a replica of the originals as I possibly could. Okay. With songs like, um, with songs on the original album, I wanted them to sound exactly alike. Okay. Um, then with the vault tracks, I wanted to be as creative as I possibly could. Okay. So these are songs that no one's heard before, so I wanted them to be the best version. These are the first impressions of these songs. Right, right, right. So uh, they're singing so loud. I love it's them. It's so, so good, loud. right? It's beautiful. It's a, okay, so this is this song is one of, like, everybody talks about it being one of their favorites. You did a 10-minute short film. It's, like, written and directed by? Okay. How did it feel to be on that set? knowing that this is a story that you were going to tell, mainly to be a gift to all of these people who've made it something so special. Oh, it, it really just was wonderful because when you have a secret, like I love planning things secretly for them because <laughs> yeah, right. they're so rewarding. They do this. Right, and they show up. They do this, yeah. and like it's so rewarding to surprise. I can't believe they care that much, honestly, right. still. Yeah. Okay, listen, they care a whole lot. I've been online looking at some of the Easter egg and the, the connections that they've made. The one that killed me was Dylan and Sadie's age difference. They were like, okay, no, there's there's a there's a secret somewhere in there. There's a, a secret somewhere in there. Are they reading too much into it? They are. Um, <laughs> they are the best detectives in the world. Right? I I love watching their theories too. I love looking at. I like scroll TikTok, like watching their theories so often, all the time. Oh, I love that. I, so I love to just watch what they come up with because they're brilliant. Yeah. And also sometimes I'm very into numerology. Okay. Sometimes they find things I didn't even plan. Really. Math. Okay. 95% of the time I'm planning it. But there are some times when they're like, the math! And I'm like, oh my god, the I math! I didn't anticipate that one. Okay, wait, what about this one? What about this one? So, you wore this. Okay, this is Princess, Princess Diana. Oh my gosh, this is not... The, I, I just liked a dress. It was a black dress I liked. I'm not trying to... I'm not... No, it was that... So I'm, that one is wrong. We debunked it. Uh, yeah. <laughs> it's, uh, <laughs> I saw that too. I was like... <gasps> No, no, not at all. Okay, listen, we were in actually interviewing you for the, the promotion of Red, and we asked you what you wanted to do by the time you turned 30. This is what you said to us. Like the highlight reel of like the best moments of my life. 
yep. you play when I'm older. That yeah, happened. Like, you hope that you have the moments that are going to kind of define how much fun you have, how much, how you much fun you have. We're still doing it. <laughs> We're still having fun. I feel I feel like that that was a good checklist. I feel really solid about the right. progress on that checklist. So tell me this, 40. What's no, on the checklist no. now? No. Immediately no. No? No. 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 Do you want to tell me no one more thing? Time capsules. One, <laughs> we want to show this in 40. No. Okay, then th this lastly this. And this is for my man Michael Marzen. There's the the car at the end of the video is a 1989. Yeah. Is that maybe I mean, a Obviously it is. Yeah, is that like obviously. You know right? me now. Right? That's for you, Michael. <laughs> Boom. 